Welcome in everybody. This is Karen with Saved by Grace Creation. And today I'm just coming on with a little tip and tutorial um, how to make some faux um, wax seals, if you will. Um, if you don't have the wax and you don't have the seals, these are something kind of easy and fun to just try on your own. Um, I did a lot of experimenting. Had a lot of errors, but that's part of experimenting and learning. So I also want to show you the errors as well so that um, everybody feels comfortable doing these things. You might come out with a great winner if you just try something new and different and you just never know what you're going to come up with. So anyway, um, I started with wax. Uh, meaning a hot, a hot glue, sorry, hot glue, and just putting the glue onto the element, whether it's a photo or a piece of cardstock or a stamp. And then from there, I used coins to push down the hot glue. Now, I don't know if you'll be able to see these really clearly or not, but there is an imprint from the coin on the hot glue. So I wasn't really thrilled with that. Um, I mean, you, you might really like it, but um, this one as well with the quarter shows the imprint. So I said, well, let's try something else. And so I went with my handy dandy cap of my glue stick and that kind of melted <laughs> so I had an imprint from the glue cap because this is plastic so then I said well let's try some ice and I just took this doorknob off my cupboard so far this is my favorite because it leaves a really clean imprint. You can slide this all around to get the edges the way you want them even. Um, I also tried the cap from a bottle and I, as I was finding as long as I kept them cold in the ice that it would come off very easily. So um, I guess what I wanted to do is just show you some of my examples. This um, is still thin enough that you can punch a hole through it and use it as a charm or just add it as an embellishment on a ticket. Um, there's, you know, many things that you can do with these, but I was just experimenting today and thought that I would show you a few of my examples. I also thought if I soaked this, and I haven't tried this yet, and peeled the backing off the paper, if the image would still stay on the glue. So I'm not sure. Oh, I guess it kind of does. So that's something else you could do if you want to use a napkin, or this just happened to be a ticket that I had. Just soaked it for a while and peeled the paper off. And so the image is still embedded in the hot glue. I don't know, something different to try. Um, one other thing that I found, I was cutting my images and I was cutting them with not leaving enough space around the edge. So another trick that you can do is just adhere a post-it note to the edge and that gives you more leverage. Um, when you're trying to center it and you don't have enough room. I don't know if you can see what I'm trying to get at, but at any rate, if you use a sticky note and add it to the edge, it'll give you more um, flexibility in cutting room to get us better cut. So. That's just my little tip. So I'm going to go get my hot glue gun because it's still 
cut off camera and just do a couple of these really quick for you. Put this back in the ice and I will be right back. So this one in particular is just a stamp. And I find if you put the glue in the center as much as possible, when you put this to press it down, your glue, I hope I'm in camera, your glue will stay pretty much central and you'll have a good arc. You can see that. Now, if you wanted to, you could cut around the edge, but I kind of just like leaving it like this. So that's one example. I hope you can see all this on camera. Um, and then I'll just do this one. Like I said, try and keep the glue right in the center. It'll give you a more even edge. Now, I was reminded by a very close friend that said, Karen, when they did these back in the day to seal an envelope to keep it street secret and keep the message hidden from whoever, the seals were not perfectly round. So, that being said, don't worry if they're not perfectly round. I'm adding more glue. Just a little. Make it more centrally round around the edges. And there you have it. Now, this one is quite dry, but you could cut around here and make this, you know, as round as possible. Um, let's try one more. Okay. I don't know what images you're able to see really well on camera. I'm going to try this one. I feel like the last one I did kind of had the glue. Well, certainly, if you have the stamps for the wax, you could use those as well. But this is just something in lieu of that. And I've also seen where they do this. <clears throat> you can have your deep dried flowers underneath. On the piece of paper, you would put dried flowers, then the glue, or clear wax, and then it. So that's kind of cool if you want to encase your dried flowers. I'll let this dry anyway. But hopefully you're getting the gist of what I'm saying and yours might come out even better than mine. I'm sure they will. But um, it's just a little something added in, you know, embellishment that you can put on any page, make a charm, you know, use your stamps. I'm sure you could do this on fabric as well. Um, so just play around with it and have some fun and experiment. And, you know, you just never know what you're going to come up with. So I hope that uh, you try it and share some of your pictures. I'd love to see your creations and just uh, share our inspiration with one another. Please subscribe and like my channel, and I will be back soon. Thank you. Have a great day. Bye.